No. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. We are the perfect team. Meh. We're okay. That's high praise coming from murder, Mom. Honestly? After everything we can... Whoa! Oh, this place is crumbling all around us! Whoa! Fucking Maklu! Maklu 4, Peter Quill. You must be fair to the other Maklu. Careful! Sharp! Very, very sharp! <laughs> this is nothing compared to the legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Fu. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Galmark! Galmark! Soldat flock! Boom! It's boom! Yes! yes. Or going to go in you flocking rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Here goes! Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Felt that one too. And that one. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. At 
least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Groot's practically naked. Groot don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. I'm Groot. Hey, we're all flammable. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. That ain't water. How did you know your guns would work back there? Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so loopy. How do we get across this gunk? Perhaps we can leap. I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in contracts yet. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. If we can find something to stand on, maybe we can walk across. Or better facilitate our leap. Or that. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat block. Captain Heat Block. Nope, no. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh yeah, the zipper. Man, I gotta fix that. Heave it, Groot! I am Groot. You can stop there, thanks. Good thing that rock tried to murder us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. It's when people I care about are in danger, and then I get this... Wendigo! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Yeah, not sure we want to piss this thing off. Star-Lord! See? <laughs> Star-Lord! Just me, or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Ah! It burns! <laughs> Root says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. You think Golden Boy is getting tortured right now? More likely Warlock is torturing Raker. Golden One is. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Keep your eyes peeled. You smell an ambush. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. We are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. Wendigo! Yeah, that's what I thought. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. Die 
is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill. I was almost hurt there. Thanks, Big E. Melted the abominable snowman. Done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. Wendigo. So much for not holding a grudge. Chuck, Chuck, Gamora! I'll enjoy this! Whoa! 
see them? I don't see them. 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 I now or seek revenge think that wreck is the camp we saw uh, this thing has been here for ages look the smoke's coming from the other side of it we're close but we're gonna need to get up there all right group give me a boost Groot. about yay high yay is not a unit of measurement Groot knows what he means We're using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Uncharacteristically optimistic for you. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a funhouse of razor blades. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. No head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of foam. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. 
When is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Advice on taking down Foon? Yeah, don't try. That bad? My men barely scratched his armor. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, it shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Foon may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Don't take this the wrong way, but... How did you survive the attack? I wasn't hiding, if that's what you mean. It wasn't. I was getting supplies from our ship. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. Ding, ding, done. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. <laughs>